There was an over $10 million insider buy on a small cap stock that is absolutely ripping today. We got to talk about it. There's a lot of small caps right now that are making people a lot of money. We got to talk about what is hot, what's going on. IPOs are hot. Meme stocks are hot. What could be next? Let's talk about it. So LIDR was designated as my top small cap play last week. I mentioned that it had a chance to be more of a swing trade, which has been working out perfectly. We've been able to nail this one with great accuracy. LIDR is up 45% today, now sitting at 57 cents at a $100 million market cap. Stick to the end of this video because I've got some extremely important information to go over about this one and a few other penny stocks that are really hot right now, some IPOs as well. Now, LIDR is up 140% from the 25 cents support level that I discussed over the weekend. And the last few videos I've been talking about, once we see the overall market, you know, the S&P 500, the Dow, and the Nasdaq once we see that those start to cool down or consolidate we could possibly see many massive movers within the small cap market and that's exactly what has been going on this is S&P 500 the spy and it's been consolidating and small caps have been absolutely ripping exactly like I have been talking about you know, what could potentially happen if we see that consolidation? Now, Yell is up 625% in two days as high short interest stocks continue to get lots of attention. Now, keep in mind, I know you see 600%. Yes, we were able to catch this full move in the Discord, but it was up 200% just today alone if you, if you were playing at pre-market to the high of the day. So sometimes you don't always need to catch the entire move. You can even catch a 20% move out of, out of this yellow run, and that's still pretty good. I just don't want you all to believe that you're going to catch the entire move on every single play you're trading. If you're trading it, even if you get 20, 30, or even just Five or ten percent sometimes is good. Now, you want to catch the hundred percent. You want to catch the five hundred percent. You want to catch the six hundred percent, and you can. In the Discord, we've been doing that like crazy. But I'm just letting you guys know right now, you don't always every single time have to catch the entire move out of every single stock you're playing. Just keep that in mind. There was an article posted today talking about Tup and Yell as meme stocks. These articles, it's bringing back the 2020 and 2021 vibes. We love to see it, except this time around, it's different. A lot of the, a lot of people are playing these as trades, short squeeze plays or squeezing at the shorts. But I don't think with these, people are necessarily planning to hold like AMC and GME long term. These were just playing retail traders are just playing these for quick in and out opportunities which is going to create even more opportunities in the near future so it's really really good to see this hype back in the small cap game now i covered yell at a dollar 50 in yesterday's video after the massive insider buys i said yell could continue to squeeze and this is why i've been saying turn on the notification bell so you don't continue to miss out on these updates these are very important updates you're not going to want to miss yell around 176 percent today from a dollar 50 yesterday to five dollars at the high today but since it was deep red pre-market i think it was down about 15 or 20 percent pre-market early this morning it actually gave 240 percent total this is pre-market right here and then this is 240 percent at the five dollar high a hit in the private discord it was alerted when it was deep red pre-market this morning at 708 eastern time there is a discord link in the top pin comment go ahead hop in there right now we alerted it again 15 minutes before market open at 9 15 a.m and obviously this is pre-market and the big move happened during market hours of course it was alerted by lemon in the discord friday last week before that 600 percent move and you can see the receipts over here 708 a.m the receipt right there and then you can see pre-market 708 that's where it started right here and boom 240 percent from that alert discord members are absolutely Absolutely banking right now and yell ran again today because there was another massive insider buy mfn partners bought 9.2 million shares at a dollar 29 per share which has an 11 million dollar value this transaction took place yesterday july 34 31st and was reported today so they were buying on july 31st this was the same insider that bought 7 million shares under a dollar last week we don't know exactly why they are buying all these shares. It could be for many reasons. One reason could be because they anticipate a good dividend from the assets the company is going to sell, or maybe they just know something positive that we don't know, or maybe they don't know anything and we could get bad news. Anything could happen in this situation, but there has been an insider absolutely 
building a massive position, multi-million dollar position. So this is going to be a top trade idea, just quick in and out trade idea going forward. But keep in mind, it's for people trading, not somebody who's going to buy and hold this thing long term. It's just impossible to ignore the multi-million dollar insider buys and the yell short interest at 38 percent. So when you have massive insider buying and massive short interest, that can cause a massive short squeeze, which is what we are seeing right now. And these these high short interest stocks have been hot lately. So it's happening at a perfect time with when TUP is running on sh high short interest, you have Yell come in, talk about bankruptcy, drop significantly, the short interest flies up, and then you have insiders come in, buy it up, causing retail to put attention on it, giving it massive volume, and then it creates massive buying pressure, causing a massive short squeeze like we're seeing right now. So put it on your watch list for trades. I would really not be shocked to see Yell continue rally, rallying higher. Just keep in mind, it's extremely risky. Tup is another one. Tupperware is another one I've been covering a lot recently. It just continues to move higher as well. It's beginning. It's been getting coverage all over the place. There was an article posted from Yahoo Finance today titled Tupperware Pops with 800% Surge as a Meme Trade Burns Short. So that action is back. It has mainstream attention. And it has also an insane amount of retail attention. It's number one trending on stock twits with Yell at number three trending. Tup has by far the most retail interest out of any stock in the market. Currently, Tup short interest is 30%. Could Tup continue to rise? It could easily keep rising higher from here, but you... Got you, and you can continue, could, could, could continue to ride that out as long as you understand it's not a long-term hold and as long as you are using risk management. There was an IPO that ripped today much higher. It was CTNT, Cheetah Net Supply Chain Service. It was priced at $4 at a 1.25 1 million float. It moved 100% from the low of the day to the high of the day, and it's currently moving higher in after hours right now. It was briefed on yesterday in the Discord and alerted when the IPO opened in the Discord. So we were there for you every step of the way in the Discord as it you know made this 100% move. CT CTNT is a supplier of parallel import vehicles sourced in the U.S. to be sold in the PRC market. The PRC market, it's been basically the People's Republic of China market. So when it comes to these IPOs that get momentum like this, we know there's a chance of them continuing to rise for multiple days in a row. There is that chance CTNT is able to continue to move higher for the rest of the week, for example, and you could potentially ride that wave higher as long as you understand it's not a long-term hold, and as long as you understand risk management, and as long as you're just taking profit along the way, then you can ride these momentum plays easily. The PWM IPO ran 500% and it took four days to make that run. CTNT was priced at $4 with a 1.24 million float, just like PWM. So I would look back at the PWM chart to kind of give you a reference on how CTNT could potentially play out. Although anything could happen, it could completely crash from here. But CTNT is another one with that good momentum right now. Now let's cover ticker LIDR. We already know they have three upcoming catalysts, which is earnings on August 7th, Monday next week, and they have two confer conferences in August. What I would really like to see from LIDR is a bounce off 50 cent support. Then we continue towards the 60 and 70 cents resistance and then make a move towards the 94 cents resistance. Then we can make our way towards a dollar. But I really want to see us bounce off 50 cents. If we get a little bit of a pullback, bounce off 50 or maybe go a little bit below 50 and then reclaim 50 potentially if it stays strong and then continue higher towards our next resistance levels. A bearish sign would be us knife, just completely knifing down. I'm, when I say knifing, I mean just completely breaking down under 50, breaking down under 40 without any sign of support. That would be bearish. I'm still overall bullish on this setup as we have some good catalysts coming up, but make sure you do stay green. If you want free emails from me, download Patreon, search, create an account on Patreon, download it, create an account, search Moon Market, and click join the community. This will not give you Discord access, but you can decide later if you do want to pay for the Discord. I highly suggest just paying for the Discord right off the bat. I mean, we literally called CTNT today. We literally called, you know, Tupperware multiple times under a dollar. We called Yell for a 200% gain in a single day. We called LIDR early. So join the Discord right now. 
the small cap market is hot. You want to be in the Discord right now during this period of time, or you might miss a lot of bangers. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just giving information on small cap stock stocks that are potentially overlooked by the overall market. Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy this content. That's it for me. Peace.